Right, we're live. Let me know if you can hear me. We're struggling to keep up with the combine right now. As you can see, the combine's waiting for me. Let me know if you can hear me, by the way, because quite often I start these and you can't hear me. You can see the combine's right full of wheat. I need to point you up there. Right, we're off. You can hear me? Fine. Yep, combining wheat, it is KWS Dawson. It's coming in at 19%, not ideal. It's been cutting for a few days now, but there's rain coming tonight at about two in the morning, so we'll just hack on until we have enough in the shed to dry over the weekend. Turn you around. Here we are. This is the furthest away field from the yard, so we're you know, we're on the limit for getting back, especially when you're cutting wheat. It's the bulkiest or the quickest to fill the tank on the combine anyway. Combine's going on fine. Although it's not the best moisture levels, 19%, the combine's making light work of it. It's not having to work hard. Grain's falling off, the head's no bother. Chopper's not having to work hard. Straw's dry. So we can... Well, we, we can complain about the moisture a wee bit, but it's not bad. Um, we're doing all right. Afternoon, hello, Andrew. Two full, full tankfuls of the combine fill that trailer full to the brim. The most I've had in it so far is 17, nine, 17 ton nine. Um, most loads are about just shy of 17. The last one was a belter. Um, we are cutting at 23% moisture. That sounds lovely. You know it's wet when it piles right up in the in the trailer, really steep. Right, we're just coming to the end of this. I'll jump out in a second. Sunny skies in Aberdeen. Yeah, well, none none here to report. Right, we'll just jump out in a second. Do I want it wet? No. Ideally, we'd be cutting it at 14%. If, if it's wet, I don't know if you can hear me from the wind, if it's wet, you have to dry it down to 14%, which you use kerosene, which costs money. Sorry about the wind. Chopper's going fine there. We just chop the lot. Chop the lot, gets rid of it, clears the field. Bad idea to walk by the chopper. But yeah, hold on. Oh, there we go. You look at the peas, look at the heads. The seeds just fall off, no bother at all. So, ah, it's all right. Just keep hacking it down. That's what we say, hack it down. It's definitely improving. This is day three of cutting wheat. Is that right? Um, started it. 20 and a little bit more percent wise and we're down to we're down to well there's been a wee bit I've tested that's been in the 18s but not a lot um, awful here in Northern Ireland yeah I think I think compared to the rest of the country where we are the rest of the whole UK and Ireland we've been not too bad um, I was going to open the back door of the hatch there but we'll just end up with a pile of wheat flying out um, not want to store any more straw or just avoid getting it rained on. Um, straw for us, winter barley straw, we, we bale most of it because it's handy for our own cows, it's good straw. Wheat straw, before we had cows, pretty much chopped all of it. Just hack it down, get rid of it, it clears the field, you can then it just, by the time, say that was out in bouts of straw. You've got straw, it's going to rain tonight. It would get wet. It takes ages to dry out. Eventually it dries out, you bail half the field, then it rains again. You bail, you bail it a few days later again. So that's a man and a baler's time in diesel. 
machinery hours, tractor hours. You then come in with two men, one on a forklift, one on a tractor and trailer. You cart it either to the side of the field um, for lorries to come to the field or right into the yard. That takes ages to clear four or five hundred bales what you would get from this field. You then put another man in a forklift again to load it onto a lorry or, or shift it from yard to yard. It's, it's gone. Don't have any of that now. Yes, there's an argument, there's a, well, there's not much value in it right now, but at points there is value in straw. Um, but right now, nah, hack down the lot. I don't know if you can hear me for the wind, but anyway. That's one load, you can see there's a bit of green through it. There you go, you can see a few greens through it. Not ideal at all. We want it to be like these orangey ones. They're not the biggest peas, they're not the most filled out, but yeah, and a quite grey looking, not that perky. Yeah, I think there's there's not gonna be many farmers across the country saying they had a great harvest. Yeah, it's it's, it's improving. It's definitely improving. You can hear the wind. So the wind dries out, there's just no sunshine, and it's not actually that warm today. What the step, uh, I don't know what that means. What the step after harvest, what do you do to the field? Oh, after harvest. Um, either disc the ground, so everything before OSR, we disc the ground. After OSR, we disc all that ground as well, and the rest gets ploughed. So what's that, maybe 30% gets disced, 70% gets ploughed, uh, and then we get on with some sowing. Uh, can you metal detect our land. We have had people out in the past metal detecting. Send an email in to Glogburn Farm Shop if you're interested or farming at glogburn.com and we might let you come and metal detect. Wouldn't be in this field because this isn't ours. This is one of the contracted fields. I'll show you to the dug. Got the dug with me. You! She knows she's in trouble. Bandit. Mind you said you may take a new farm hand on. Would that be full time? Yeah, I mentioned a, f a couple of videos ago, ago that we're, we th we'll, we'll maybe consider taking someone else on, on the farm side of things. Um, would it be full time? Um, don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see when we figure out. We're kind of, through the winter, we're, although we've got a bit more cow, cattle work to do now through the winter, don't, don't need everyone, but at the same time, Dunk, Dunk who's driving the combine right now, he's um, he's just out at harvest time and to do a bit of ploughing, do a bit of disking, so he's not here through the winter, so we lose that. We lose one head through the winter, so. Do we need someone through the winter? No, but if we had someone, we'd, we'd definitely get a lot of other jobs done. So, yeah, we'll pro probably end up if we do full time. Um, would you ever move to what Ollie Blogs does and just re-drill without the ploughing? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, <laughs> some question. No, I don't think we would. I think, I, I think glyphosate's going to get banned within the next, whether it's five years, ten years, fifty years, I don't know. And that system relies quite heavily on glyphosate. I don't, I don't know whether it should be banned or not, but I think it will be regardless. Um, whether something else comes in to help with it, I don't know, something like another chemical gets produced. Who knows, but yeah, we're not looking at going down the, that route. I do think there's place for it, and there's place for added less tillage, less ploughing here and there, but I think for our system, and for the climate we have, it's a bit wetter, um, yeah, we're going to keep with the ploughing. When we start disking or ploughing, well, we've disked all the ground that's gone into OSR. It's all sown, so it's all disked. We will then. Kev started ploughing actually two or three days ago. He's done half a field because all the winter barley ground. So anything that's going into winter barley, we need to get uh, ploughed. So we'll finish 
get this field finished tonight, complete. We will then, it's going to be wet tomorrow. Probably have a day off tomorrow. We'll just me and Dan will finish drying, drying grain and moving stuff about. But it's Saturday, so I can get off then. We might get going Sunday. And we'll need another two days after today to finish wheat. And then, well, I don't know if spring barley is going to be ready, but we could do with getting a bit of ploughing and a bit of sowing done in between. So that's the game plan. Uh, right, I better shift up the field a wee bit. My boots are full of wheat. I've got new boots, actually. Um, is there a YouTube video out tonight? No. So normally videos are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So no Friday, no Saturday. The odd, quite often I miss one of those five that I've suggested. If you've not already, by the way, like the video. There's a hundred and something odd watching, 20 likes. Betty says like the video. Hey Doug, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Betty's in, other than chewing the hell out of stuff and making a mess, I was gonna say she's a good, tractor cab but that, that's the sole reason why she isn't a good tractor uh, cab dog right now. Um, more questions? Uh, in Young Farmers do you know a boy called Andrew Beatty? It rings a bell but I'm also not in Young Farmers. How long before Betty fits her ears? I don't think she's ever gonna fit her ears. Here's the combine flashing away so I'll Stop beeping at me. I'll wait until he's dunks a bit further up the field until the tank's right full. So I don't need to get three separate empties into there. I can do it in two big ones. Um, does your field location dictate what you do as far as tillage and planting? Um, no, it's, it's not based on location. It's based on what's been in the, in the previous years. To put it simply, you don't want to put loads of the same crop all the time in the same field. You want a, a good long rotation. The more numbers of years, the better, because each crop takes out a different set of nutrients. Um, cereal crops, are on the whole, take out similar, but um, OSR, potatoes, carrots, they use very different nutritional bases. So if you, Put in carrots, potatoes, OSR, it gives the ground a break before you put cereals back into it. So it allows the um, nutritional value of the field to jump up again um, for the, what it needs for cereal crops, if that makes sense. Maybe it didn't make sense at all. Um, hi Crawford, how are we pal? I am smashing. Do I prefer the Fent or the New Holland? I think that's quite obvious. Um, the Fent. Um, yeah, it's very nice. It's just like I got a bit of a sore back sometimes, and it's like it's just cruising along. It's like smooth. This, um, yeah, a bit more refined. I don't know what we'll go for in the next, the next tractor upgrade. This tractor and the other New Holland are both on s just over six thousand hours, so don't want to run them into the tens of thousands of hours. So we don't. We also don't want to buy. Two tractors at the same time, so we'll consider consider a tractor in the next couple of years, probably. I'm probably going to have to. Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and not spill all this. It's quite tricky to see through that perspex. It's this trailer is what age is this? Maybe five, six years. So the perspex is all quite scratched up could maybe do with a new one or I've seen a, a boy he's on Instagram down south he has managed to get a wee Bluetooth device that connects the camera that's in the in the combine that looks down the auger into his tractor screen and um, so might look into that because that would be very handy this is live so I better not spill any or else you've got dirt on me I'm not going to lie, I've spilled some already today, don't worry. Spill some every day. I need to put my steps in as well. 
Steady does it. I wouldn't like to empty out uh, oh, one of these 8,800 series combines. The volume out of them must be in incredible out the auger. Oh, that's pretty bang on if you ask me. If I had to guess what weight that is, it's not quite as good as my last load, so I'm going to say 30.5 ton, 30.6 ton. Once I get to the weigh bridge, I'll put a, a, a picture on my Instagram story to see how far off I was. Um, I'm heading onto the road now, so I need to hang up on the live video. But cheers for watching. Head over to Insta, Instagram, Crawford's Farm, uh, and you'll see what weight ended up being in that trailer. Like this video, by the way. Before you go, as you're clicking off, just click the wee like button. Cheers. See you. There'll be a video out on Monday. Don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I might do a live video. Who knows? Not Monday, Sunday. Adios. Cheery bye.